guys and welcome back to my channel so as most of you know I'm a stay-at-home mom and I have been a stay-at-home mom for the last two years and I know there are some moms out there who want to work and that is perfectly fine no judgment here if you want to work and that's what's best for your family then by all means work um, but for me the entire time that I worked all I thought about was being a stay-at-home mom and I thought that it was really just impossible but now that I'm doing it I've learned a lot and um, it's all about sacrifice here on this notepad I jotted down 10 tips I ended up having four pages of notes just making sure that I had everything that I wanted to say in this video so I'm gonna try to make it um, not so long I'm gonna try to get to the point on each of my tips and try not to spend too much time because I don't want this video to be super long. I just want you guys to know that if you want to stay home, don't think that it's impossible. Um, there's a lot of people out there who think that it is. If you make the sacrifices that you need to make, um, it, it, it can work out. My first tip is sacrifice. You have got to get in the mindset um, of deciding you know what is important to you sacrifice is a big one because we have had to sacrifice so much for me to be able to stay home I want to be there for my kids school functions you know I want to be the one taking care of them for us that was giving up the latest phones um, we do not have the latest cell phones as a matter of fact um, we have some older phones but um, they work and we use them and we're also on a limited data plan we don't need unlimited so that was one way for us to get our phone bill super low is to have a limited data plan I'm at home the majority of the time so we have Wi-Fi so I can um, hook up to that and I don't have to use data and really my husband doesn't even use that much data because where he works he's not even allowed to have his phone on him he has to leave it um it's in the building with him but they have lockers that they have to put it in so the only time he can ever use his phone is on break and lunch and after work i mean he's headed home anyway to where we have wi-fi so in reality we didn't need unlimited data we're perfectly fine having limited data another way that we made a sacrifice is with um kane my second son i didn't do this with my first son and i really should have was giving up disposable diapers and switching to cloth cloth diapers are not as bad as you think um they have came a long way and they are very modern and they're really not that bad to deal with whenever i first started thinking about cloth diapering i was like oh my gosh like i'm going old school but um and i had a lot of people tell me you know good luck with that you know i hope that you know it works out for you because they really doubted um the whole cloth diaper situation but I am so glad that I decided to do cloth diapers because that alone has saved us so much money. Like I said, I've cloth diapered him and we've been cloth diapering for over two years now and it's already paid for itself. Like we've already made the money back that we spent on the diapers and plus saved some. So if you are looking into having any more babies or if you have babies now i do recommend switching to cloth diapers and um there's lots of videos on youtube i learned everything that i know from youtube naturally thrifty mom is a good channel she has tons of videos on just cloth diapering i'll link her channel down below so that you can check that out if you want to learn more about cloth diapering another way that we sacrifice is we have one vehicle so um we just recently got a new vehicle because um whenever we bought our last car like it was, it was pretty old um at the time that we bought it and we bought it seven years ago it was an 05 um and now it just got to the point where it was costing way too much money in the shop we were spending just as much as we would on a car payment um and so we actually just ended up uh, buying a brand new car recently within the last um, two months or so um but my husband did have good credit so we were able to get our car payment pretty low during the school year i would take my husband to work so that i would have the car during the day to be able to pick my son up from school because um that's what was important to me i would rather pick him up than him ride the school bus we made that work and i took him to work and just would um, pick him up in the afternoons during the summer like now i don't have to take him to work because Kai's out of school now so we can be home all day another sacrifice is cable TV we've never had cable TV 
Um, I never could justify in my mind um, having cable. I always do Netflix or Hulu. It does kind of suck sometimes not being able to watch a TV show as soon as it comes out or watch your latest episode um, or catch up, you know, with everybody else. But um, it, it's kind of nice in a way because once it does hit Netflix or Hulu, um, you can binge watch it. So we kind of prefer having Netflix and Hulu over cable. All right, tip number two is to have a budget. This is probably the most important tip because if you don't have a budget, you don't know where your money's going and you're gonna overspend somewhere. So having a budget is key. And when I say have a budget, I mean budget everything. I mean down to date night and haircuts. I mean everything needs to be budgeted, everything needs to be accounted for so that you know exactly where your money's going to. Tip number three is to plan and save. And what I mean by that is saving up for the things that you want and plan for it. Um, just because you're a single income family doesn't mean that you can't go on vacations. It just needs that you need a little more time to plan and save for it. And your vacations don't have to be extravagant. They can be a simple vacation. Tip number four is meal planning. I can't tell you how much meal planning has saved our butts <laughs> on the grocery bill. Um, we have been able to save so much just by planning out our meals because whenever I go to the grocery store, I'm only buying what is on my meal plan. And I'm not making impulse purchases, you know, just grabbing stuff because I used to do that. I used to go into the grocery store and just blindly grab stuff and you know, I'll make it work somehow, you know, I was thinking, but having a plan and knowing what you're going to buy saves you so much money. Tip number five is to have a savings at all times. So for us, a thousand dollars in the bank at all times would be ideal. Um, but according to where you live, um, your cost of living may be more or less. So you may need to save more or less just in case an emergency comes up you're not strapped trying to figure out where the money's going to come from, how you're going to pay for it. Tip number six is to avoid paying full price on anything. I'm talking clothes, groceries, anything. Um, even your furniture for your house, do not pay full price. There are too many people selling secondhand stuff on the internet nowadays. All these Facebook groups, there's too many people selling it. Do not pay full price. We bought new furniture year before last, but it's because we got it on sale. We did buy it brand new, but it was on sale. I do the majority of my clothes shopping for me and the kids at thrift stores. And if I'm not shopping at thrift stores, I shop at Ross or TJ Maxx where you can buy brand new clothes for a fraction of the cost. And when I'm grocery shopping, I make sure to stick to the off-brand if it's um, something that I can deal with being off-brand. Like, I know um, mayonnaise, I cannot buy off-brand because it just doesn't taste right to me. But for the most part, we buy the Great Value brand at Walmart um, because that's where we do the majority of our grocery shopping. We just stick to the Great Value brand. I have learned that a lot of the great value stuff is the same exact thing that is in the name brand boxes. You're just paying for the name. I know there are probably some things that aren't the same, but for the most part, great value is pretty spot on. So that's the brand that we normally stick to and we saved a lot of money by doing that. Number seven is probably just as important as a budget and that is to have a life insurance policy. Um, so for me and my husband, since he's the breadwinner of the family, we do have a larger policy on him so that if he was to um, pass, we, uh, me and the kids would be taken care of. We have their college taken care of um, because if the breadwinner in your family passes away suddenly, you don't want to be stuck. I mean, it's hard enough losing them and you don't want the burden of wondering how you're going to pay the bills and take care of your kids. Um, so I do recommend having a life insurance policy. Um, and we also have life insurance policies on me and the boys as well. Mine, since I'm not really the breadwinner, um, is just enough to bury me and maybe he'll have a little bit of extra. Then for the boys, what we did for them is we did a 20 year life pay where we would just pay on their life insurance policies for 20 years. And then after 20 years, we don't have to pay on it anymore. And that policy is theirs forever for the rest of their life. 
you'll have it always. So that's what we decided to do for them. I think it's just very important to have that kind of stuff covered because you never know. I mean, you honestly never know when something like that could happen. God forbid anything like that ever happened. It's nice to know that you have that taken care of if something like that did happen. The next tip that I have for you is prepaid lights. Um, so ever since we bought this house, um, we have done prepaid billing with our light bill. And um, I don't know if everywhere offers that, but where we live, um, luckily does so we are able to the way i explain it to people is you put money in the account um and as you use it um you just have to refill it like a gas tank in your car like you would fill your car up with gas and as you drive it out you go back and fill it with more and that's the same with with the lights we have an app on our cell phones that will tell us when we're getting low and um we can just put more money in there and we like this because there's no surprises for us. We know um, how much we're spending. We can keep up with kind of how we're doing on the light bill and where we need to cut back and, you know, bump that thermostat up a little bit. We do have to do that quite a bit, especially during the summertime. Um, so just little things like that make a big difference. Tip number nine is to cut every single bill that you can possibly cut. That means calling your car insurance company and saying hey um can we get a requote and see if we can get our insurance cheaper or just shopping around at other insurance companies and seeing if you can get a lower um rate every month and also call in your um internet provider and see if there's any way you can cut um your bill down on that maybe cutting back on your um your internet a little bit and for us um cutting back on the cell phones you know that was one way we were able to cut back is by having limited data instead of unlimited because we don't need the unlimited. So that's one way um, that we have cut back on our bills. So I definitely recommend cutting back everywhere you can cut. And if that even means cutting back on Netflix and Hulu, maybe you can only afford one, then just do one. Or if you can't afford either of them, then don't do either of them. I know like for the first uh, six months of our marriage, we didn't have any TV at all. I mean, we had a TV, but we didn't have anything to watch. So what I did is I went to Walmart and I bought the box set of the Golden Girls because I love the Golden Girls and I watched them all the time. And so, I mean, stuff like that, you, you can, you can make it work. It's all about sacrifice. The very last tip that I have for you, tip number 10 is to get creative, get creative with date night, get creative with your kids activities. You do not have to spend money to have a date night or have fun with your kids. And for date night, what you could do is you don't even have to leave your house. You can send the kids off to their grandparents for the night and just play a board game or bake cookies or you could even camp in your backyard, pitch a tent and camp. Um, there's so many things that you could do that is not gonna cost you anything. So definitely get creative. I guess what my point is with this whole tip is that it's all about the memories it's not about the money you don't have to go out and spend a fortune to um make your kids happy they just want you and they want the memories i think it was um last year or year before for halloween um we were pretty strapped for money and it was like my first year of being a stay-at-home mom and so we were still trying to figure out you know all the kinks it was halloween time and kai really wanted to be um scorpion from mortal Kombat, and we were pricing the costumes online and they were like a hundred dollars if not more um and we were just not going to pay that for a costume and so what we did is my husband and i um, we went to hobby lobby and we purchased everything that we would need like we ended up making his whole costume out of that like um foam board sharpie marker i can't remember what we used to i think it was like some kind of glue that we used um to tack it all together but my point is that meant more to him than buying a costume from walmart or online was having his daddy make it and if i have a picture i'm going to insert it um, if i haven't already so that you guys can see but just little things like that you just have to remember what is important to you and why you're staying home in the first place and don't feel guilty about it don't feel guilty about staying at home being with your kids 
um, you are doing one of the most important jobs in the world. And so I hope that, you know, these 10 tips were informative and encouraging and helped you. I'm hoping that I at least gave some tips that you didn't already know. I feel like a lot of these are common sense tips, but um, I do hope that they were informative in some way to someone. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get off here because I feel like this video is probably already super long. So I hope you guys have a great day. And also, if you have any tips um, as a stay-at-home mom, leave it in the comments below because I would love to know some new tips and also anyone else we can learn from each other. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.